if we have an orthogonal basis, we can compute orthogonal projections. However, that is quite a big if. Most of the time, the basis we have will not be orthogonal. In this video, we will learn how to solve this problem. You can turn any basis into an orthogonal basis, and it is not hard at all. Let's have a look. So, what is the idea? I have a span of, say, two vectors in this first example, x1 and x2. They are independent but not orthogonal, so basis consists of x1 and x2. Then I want to make a new basis, B prime, consisting of V1 and V2, such that the span of V1 and V2 is still uh, W, but so now such that V1 and V2 are orthogonal, so V1 in V2 equals 0. So that's the plan. How are we going to do it? First of all, we can choose the first V1. I can choose either x1 or x2, whatever I like. Uh, put x1 here, so you can choose the first one. Then for the second one, we have to make the second one orthogonal to the first one. So how are we going to do that? So here we have our v1 and here our x2. Now we compute the projection of x2 on v1, x2 hat, and then we have x2 equals x2 hat plus z. But this z factor over here is orthogonal to v1. So as our v2, we choose z. So we have v2 equals z. And we know how to compute z. It equals x2 minus the projection of x2 on v1. Let's do that with an explicit example. So I have the span of two vectors, an x1 and an x2. x1, 1, 1, 0, x2 minus 2, 0, 1. And I can choose one of the two as my v1, so let's pick the first one, for example, v1 equals 1, 1, 0. Then we have to compute the v2. v2 equals x2 minus the projection of x2 on v1, so v1 in x2 over v1 in v1 times v1. v1 in x2, let's see, minus 2 plus 0 plus 0 minus 2. v1 in v1, 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 over here. So we have minus 2, 0, 1, plus 1, 1, 0, equals minus 1, 1, 1, as our v2. So I have a new basis consisting of 1, 1, 0, and minus 1, 1, 1. And of course, always check whether those are orthogonal. Minus 1, plus 1, plus 0, equals 0. So yes, they are orthogonal. So we have found our orthogonal basis, in this case, 